This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of factoring trinomials by cross method and decomposition. First, I will show you the cross method. This is the first question. 6x squared can be expressed as the product of 2x and 3x. And 5 can be expressed as the product of 1 and 5. When you cross multiply, we get 3x and 10x, which has a sum of 13x. The middle term is the same. To write down the answer, go this way. So 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 5. At this time, many students are wondering, why is it 2x times 3x? Not 3x times 2x or x times 6x? Because the question again here, like this, I want to change it order. So 3x times 2x makes 6x squared, and 1 times 5 makes 5. But when you cross multiply, this one is 2x, then 15x. So combine together, you have 17x. This is not middle term. It's not working. If you want to use the cross method, every time you have to find out the order of the two numbers in the first and last terms. The second method is decomposition. We are looking for two numbers that have a sum of 13 and the product of 30. The 30 arises from multiplying the first and the last term. So what are two numbers? They are 3 and 10. So now the trinomial can be rewritten as 6x squared plus 3x plus 10x plus 5. The middle term has been expanded. And then you can factor out 3x in first two terms. So factor like this. And then 5 in the last two terms. So 2x plus 1. And then take our common factor, which is 2x plus 1. And 3x plus 5 is inside the bracket. So using cross method or decomposition, you have the same answer. This is the next question. First, I will show you the cross method. Let's show the wrong answer first and see how to find the correct way. So 4x squared can be expressed as a product of x and 4x and then 3 can be expressed as a product of minus 3 and minus 1 and using cross multiply so minus 12x and then minus x together make minus 13x of course this is not middle term then how about 4x times x make 4x squared and then minus 3 times minus 1 makes 3 then cross multiply so this is minus 3x that one make minus 4x combined together like 7x which is middle term 
So the answer is 4x minus 3. And this way, x minus 1. This is vector form. The second method is decomposition. We are looking for the two numbers that have a sum of minus 7 and the product of 12, these two numbers. And then they are minus 4 and minus 3. So the middle term breaks into these two terms. So 4x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 3. And then factor out first two terms, 4x and then x minus 1 and minus 3. So x minus 1. And then take a common factor x minus 1. So 4x minus 3 is left over. So 4x minus 3, x minus 1, or x minus 1, 4x minus 3. So we have the same answer. This is the last question. First, I will show you the cross method. 5x times 3x make 15x squared. And 3 times 5 make 15. But one of the numbers has a negative because this is minus 15. I will show you later. When you cross multiply, this is 9x and then 25x. They combine together, we have to make minus 16x. That means 25 must be negative. So minus 5 is here. So the factor is this one, 5x plus 3, and then 3x minus 5. This is the answer. The second method is decomposition. We are looking for two numbers that have a sum of minus 16 and a product of minus 225, which is 15 times minus 15. You might have thought that using decomposition was better for the first two problems, but the cross method might be easier if the number is this big. So let's find two numbers together. Please remember, it's much easier to find the product side first. This is prime factorization. 225 is 15 times 15, and this one is 3 times 5, and another 3 times 5. If I take these two numbers, make 25, and these two numbers make 9, and then think about this one, 25 must be minus. So add them together, make minus 16, times together, make minus 225. Now the trinomial can be rewritten as 15x squared here plus 9x minus 25x. It's always middle term breaks into two terms together and minus 15. And then you can factor out 3x in first to two terms. So 5x plus 3 is left over and minus 5 in the last to two terms. So 5x plus 3. And then 5x plus 3 is common factor. So take out common factor. Inside the bracket is 3x minus 5. So you get the same answer, the cross method or decomposition. 
I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below, and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.